Guys, what is going on? It's Pags, um, your lovely host. Your lovely host, here I am. So I keep getting this question on some of the video. Excuse me, outdoors. Um, they're, they're doing some construction on, on um, some of the apartments here. They're doing some renovations. So ignore the beeping, ignore it, ignore it. But I keep getting comments on high maple. Gosh, what a, what a, what a time to an episode. So I keep getting comments on what is the VS code you are, or the theme you are using. And the theme I am using, I, I want to share some of the um, some of the details here, um, because clean organization and just working in a visually pleasant place, it, it does make all the difference. So the theme I'm using is Monokai Pro, and then I'm using Material UI icons, and then also Indent Rainbow for some of these things here. So I'm going to show you guys how to integrate that. Hopefully, let's let's try to do this successfully. So you go over here to the to the left, obviously go to your extensions, search Monokai Pro. This is what it's gonna be. Let's go ahead and uninstall it real quick so I could show you guys what it looks like before using. Here's your just plain Jane VS code. Um, indent Rainbow still uh, there. So most won't have that, but we all recognize normal VS code. So you just go over here, search Monokai Pro, install it. Uh, yeah, you could select a few themes. They have a few out of the box themes to choose from. Uh, the machine one looks pretty good, uh, but I believe the one I use is going to be the Spectrum personally. So I really like it. It's it's worked for me for a long time. Um, it's sometimes good to change up your theme, you know, make make things fresh again. Um, so try that one out for size, and then of course on the left here we also have our icons. And I think that's very important as well to configure because when you're you're searching through your folder structures and, and when it's just the arrows, when it's no material UI icons or anything like that, it, it can get a little bit, a little bit, um, yeah, just just not not the best looking. So this is also the icon theme that I use, and you can see how it kind of defines if you have like Prisma, it makes a little Prisma folder, your React hooks and stuff, or or your app directory. Um, and then of course your, your normal folders just kind of look like normal folders. So there are like pre-iconized, I guess like, you know, their hooks have like their own little color with their own little thing and the public one has their own little thing. So um, and all your Docker files, all these other things, prettier files, all, you can see here that it just kind of has its own little icons, um, different text. So it, it really does help a lot just for navigating and, and looking in your folders. Um, it really does. So, so that would be the second thing I would highly encourage on top of a, a, your own theme. And then the third thing that I use is an indent rainbow. And this is actually the one that I use. And um, it has a bunch of pre-configured palettes and things that you can, you can pre-configure. So look into that. And then if you want to go to your JSON settings, um, how I did that, I did shift command P to pop that open and just typed in JSON, and you're gonna look for this, preferences, open user settings. And you can actually configure all the, the colors that you want. So these are custom colors that I had put in, um, just your typical RGBA, whatever you want here. But if you want to customize this watch, I'll show you guys. Let's see, let's see. We'll just do three of them. And then if you uh, develop a reload, your window, boom you'll see how some of the colors are much more harsh now because that's that's just what we edited. So um, so yeah, mess around with that and you could, you could make your own colors. I, I would highly suggest kind of giving them a lot of opacity, whichever colors you do end up with, just because it, it, it makes them a little bit more pleasant on the eye to look at. So um, I think DX is what it's called. Developer experience is very important as well on top of your UI, UX, you know, your user interface, user experience things like that, your developer experience is very important as well. So little tools like this, little tricks and, and tweaks, they, they really help on top of obviously everyone knows about your prettier formatters and things like that. So next I'll make a video on my lenting and um, type checks and then also the formatter. Those are kind of another DX thing that just really clean things up and expedite your, your developer process a lot. So. Um, yeah, guys, I, I hope that helps a ton. That's what I use for my VS Code theme is Monokai Pro, um, material icons, and then that, that indent rainbow is gonna be um, how I do it. So feel free to steal that, copy exactly mine. Um, what I would also advocate is, is take a little bit of time for yourself and figure out what, what works for you. But 
Um, yeah, if, if, if you want to steal mine, like go, go right ahead. You are welcome to. Here's the exact um, color palette that I have for the indent rainbow. Um, and then I showed you guys the theme and the icons I used. So I hope that helps. I hope that cleans up some of your guys' developer experiences and let me know if there's any other um, things that I can, I can comment on. All right, guys. Cheers. I'll see you in the next one.